Hey guys, one more tag video. This one is six products I can't live without. Um, again, I was tagged by several people, and I'll try to figure out all those who tagged me. It'll all be in the sidebar, but thank you again for tagging me. Um, another one that I've been slacking on for a long time. I don't know exactly what the rules of this are. I've seen several of them um, where you have to list something for your hair, for your face, like whatever. Or I've seen people just do six just random things that they can't live without, not necessarily makeup related. So I'm just going to do what I want to do. I'm going to do <laughs> six products that I can't live without, mostly makeup and um, one extra thing. So let's get started. Um, yeah. Oh, by the way, pick these up. They're really good. The Starburst Sour Gummy Burst. Really good. They're like little sour gummies, but there's like a liquid inside. Really hot. Cool. Hey. Let me see that. Really cool. I think it tastes good too. Huh. Enough of that. Okay, first thing. Um, not really makeup related is my phone. It doesn't have to be this phone, it's just any phone. My cell phone, really. It's my phone, my watch. My way to communicate with other people. And um, it's my alarm clock. I have two voicemails. So obviously I'm not communicating very well, but... <laughs> so my phone. It's like one of those things where if I go out anywhere, I have to have my phone, my wallet, and um, chapstick, and that's about it. So, speaking of chapstick, um, this isn't really a chapstick. It's um, a lip balm, and this is one that I cannot live without, and I've said it in other videos before, but it is my favorite favorite ever lip product. I could easily do my favorite lip product because this is it. This is the C.O. Bigelow Mentha Lip Shine. This is the tinted one, but I really don't care. The formulation of it is just so awesome. It's like the only thing that I honestly feel moisturizes my lips. And I know that some people say it doesn't do that. It's more like a glossy thing. Personally, it moisturizes my lips. I don't like the stick chopsticks too much. Um, there's a few that I like, but most of them just don't do anything for me. I don't like things that kind of feel like they're just on the surface and they're really light. I like a more substantial kind of, um, lip balm, and this is it. The consistency of this is great. It kind of just sits on top of my lips, but it's thick, and it feels like it's actually doing something. I love the mintiness in it, and then if you get the ones with the tint, it's like a lip gloss in one. So, lip gloss, lip balm breath freshener in one. So this is awesome. I love this. Love this. Can I say that again? I love this. Can't live without it, for real. Um, next thing would be my eyelash curler. This is the e.l.f. one, and I actually really like this. For a dollar, it is flippin' awesome. I love it. Um, I am obsessed with eyelashes. I am always trying to make them as curly, as long, as full as I possibly can. I am obsessed, and, um, you can ask my friends and family because they know that I will spend a lot of time doing my eyelashes and if they get messed up, I freak out. My boyfriend sometimes will hug me and my face will squish into him and I'm like, oh, my eye, my eye, my eye, or like he'll give me a kiss on the forehead or something or on the cheek and he'll, he'll mess up my eyelashes and I freak out and I'm like sitting there like trying to fix it, make sure they're all separate, but um, my eyelash curler, I cannot live without because when... If you guys don't curl your eyelashes, you really should. You will see a huge difference when you curl your eyelashes. It really opens up your eye. But then again, if you have naturally curly eyelashes, I hate you because you don't need that. And um, you're naturally blessed. So, But I'm not, so I need it. Um, next thing would be brow powder. I look like an alien without me doing my brows. Like seriously, they're sparse. They're kind of... Um, there's like very little on the on the ends right here so bad so I need to do my eyebrows before I leave the house it's one of those things that I have to have to do so brow powder this one is my spell brow powder actually so I love this and I use it and it's inexpensive I use this not only as a brow powder I use it as like 
powder eyeliner or um, crease color. I really like it. It's very handy. Um, next thing would be a face scrub. Um, I have quite a few that I love, so this is just one of them. This is the Avon Clear Skin Invigorating Cleansing Scrub. I just think that um, when I exfoliate my skin, it's happy. Bottom line, I do it for my skin. Because when I don't, it like freaks out. I get like little like bumps on my nose and I can feel it within a day. I have to exfoliate at least once a day. And if you have sensitive skin, I wouldn't recommend it, but I have pretty tough skin and it seriously, it requires a good scrub every day. And this one is awesome. It's really inexpensive too. It, it's great. There's benzithonium chloride. It's an antibacterial antiseptic um, face scrub. They only recommend that you use this, I think, like twice a week. Once to twice a week. I use this almost every other day. Um because I love it. But this one is awesome in particular because when you use it, first of all, it's blue. It's, I think it looks cool. It's blue right there. You see that? Um, not only that, it's really cooling. Like when you rub this on your face, it has like the menthol effect where it's just super, super cooling, but not irritating. It feels really good, especially in the summer. Oh my gosh, it's awesome. Last thing, um, this is a hair product. Especially now that it's getting warmer out, kind of humid in some places. I have really thick hair and it's naturally wavy. And my biggest problem is frizz. So I need something to help with frizz. And I love Cebu's Oso Shimmer. This is a smoothing solution. I adore this. This is awesome. This allows me to let my hair dry naturally and not have it be like a huge frizz ball. Um, another one that I like is Garnier Fructis, the leave-in conditioner, and I cocktail it with the anti-humidity smoothing milk, and that's awesome too, but um, if you just want one product, the Cebu Oso Shimmer is awesome. It smells really good, it helps with the frizz, and it adds shine because there's little like mica particles in it, so this is awesome. Those are my six products that I can't live without, and I really feel like I can't live without it. Because I use these things almost every day. And, yeah. Yeah. Um, if I tag anyone, it'll be in the sidebar. Because, like I said, this this tag has been going on for a while. So, if you haven't done it and you want to do it, do it. Um, again, let me know. I'd love to watch it. Thank you for taking the time to watch mine. And let me know. If you don't want to do a video, let me know some of the products you can't live without. Maybe... I need to get my hands on some of them too. So yeah, have a great day and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!